Hi YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to make the Lady Gaga 2019 Met Gala um, inspired lashes as promised in my last video. They look like this for the top lashes and this for the bottom lashes. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see but the bottom lashes do have some rhinestones on them um, to kind of clean up the look of the band. They're actually surprisingly easy to make. So how we do that is, first I got two sets of just generic cheap lashes. I'm just gonna show you on one set today because I really don't need another pair of these. Um, so just open the bar. First things first, you want to start on your bottom lashes. So I just took um, the set of lashes and some I just took the set of lashes and some Jam Tack. I think you can probably do this with PVA glue as well. Um, Jam Tack is especially for gluing on gems and stuff. So I got a blob of that. I first painted the overside of the lashes with just, this is just like an old concealer brush I had. Um, but if you've got like a better brush, go for it, like an actual paintbrush, whatever. It's just like a brush I didn't mind ruining. Then I got some gold glitter. It's probably hard to see, but this is like a glitter shaker of different colors. I just got it from Sainsbury's. You can use any glitter. Um, um, I just kind of covered the lashes in that. And then lifted them off the paper and shook, kind of spread them around in there. And I repeated just in the gaps of the other side, because you should, by doing this, get glue on most of it, so. Just smush them in that glue. And I put them back into the pan of the case that they came in to dry. Then I got this, it's called sequin paper. It's sometimes also called sequin roll. It's basically the same kind of plastic that you make sequins from and the purpose of this is pretty much to make your own sequins. Um, and what I did was I just took about a finger, index fingers length of it and cut off that square. And I did two of those. Then I just cut into strips. And then with those strips, I cut from one corner up to the other corner which gave me two lashes, see? And I'm doing these a lot thicker for the purposes of this video so you can actually see what I'm doing. But I would probably say for, um, I would probably do two thirds of that size or even half that size for when you do your ones. For the bottom lashes, I did the exact same thing, but I made sure that I cut my strip into an angle so that the lashes will go, go from shorter to longer. You could just even do them like this where you flip it and just cut pieces off. For the top lashes I took this E6000 glue and I just took some of that onto a pin and I placed it really carefully along the lash line. And then I took a lash and I held it into that glue and I had to, you have to wait until the glue is pretty dry before you let go. So it's a long process, I'm not gonna lie. It's not hard, but it, it's kind of long. There we go. So as I said, these lashes are way thicker than um, you would probably want them. I'm just doing them this thick because I thought 
that it would be easier to see what I was doing. Um, but I would probably do about half of the size to even less maybe. So you just dip, you can also just dip the lash in the glue if you don't want to use the pin. It's just kind of messier but it does the same kind of thing. And you just leave those to dry. I believe I left mine in the pan for about 12 hours and then they were dry. I, they probably dried way before that but I just didn't need to touch them for that long. Then back onto the bottom lashes. The glue and the glitter have pretty much dried so I'm just going to take them onto the other side of the pan and it's the same method as the, the top lashes. Dip them in some glue and Press it onto the lash, hold it on there until it's nice and dry. allowed those to dry. The last step is to um, just clean up the band with some rhinestones. So get some glue on your pin and you just want to dab that into onto the band of the lashes. And then I've got these, well my other lashes I used actual gold ones but I actually lost them. I have no idea where I put them so these are rose gold, so not too dissimilar. So you take the smallest ones, which I believe are 0.5 millimeters, so they're tiny, like it's the size of the end of a pencil. And then you just put them with this gem picker upper onto the glue, just all across the band, just so that you kind of got a bit of a cleaner look on the bottoms because you'll be able to see the band on the bottom, you won't be able to see the band on the top. So when you're all done, they should look like this. Ready to attach to your base and the tops should look like that so when you put them on you can see these lovely lashes giving you the same kind of lash feel and then you've got these plastic beautiful lashes thank you for watching